Hi, I'm here today to review um, Koi Dax, their wake up alarm clock with um, living colors, table lamp, um, RGB mood lighting. <laughs> so um, it comes um, in the mail like this. You get the clock, you get the power cord, and I'm afraid it touches because it keeps coming undone. It's an AC adapter with um, the USB. See, it's a USB plug, so you can either charge it via USB, you know, use it that way. It has to be plugged in. Um, it doesn't hold a charge. And I hope I can put the um, plug down without it undone, coming undone here. Let me gently put that down. Around. There we go. Okay, because if you um, unplug it, um, and there there goes your time. You got to reset it. So it does it does not hold um, a charge or like you know for you. So this is the clock. It sits like this. As you see, that was the power port, and under here are the buttons. There is a hard reset hole right there, but these buttons are, um, I'm trying to remember, up, and that's set, and that would be down, um, are the buttons under here. And this is real soft. I don't know if you can see. It's like a like foam, a thin layer of foam, I guess, so it won't mar your table, and it won't be like, you know, you know, you know it won't slide nearly as much. So... To operate, I've already got it set, and you can see I did PM here, so I did the 12-hour clock time frame, but you can choose um, the military time on there also. And um, this right here is another power button, so you're going to touch that, and that turns the table lamp on, on the bright white light, and that's the light that comes on, um, that was coming on with the alarm, and then um, you can like um, dim it down with this it'll go up and down not by much but it will go up and down and then you can change it press mode and it changes it um, to the RGB colors and we'll hold it for a second and you'll see it move through um, the colors it slowly moves through you can use this as just a lamp and um, I will go through that and you can also pick a color so now while it's in this mode if you touch these dots now, instead of dimming it a little bit, it'll pick a solid color. So it's um, red, and then um, blue, green, okay, and then like a whitish purple. And then hit mode again, we're back to white. Hit it again, it'll start, um, should start rolling through. Unless I have to hit it twice. I can't remember. <laughs> I've been playing with this so many times. Yeah, it's starting to roll. It takes a second and it'll start to roll through the lights. So, um, if you want to, um, I had to play a few times learning how to set the alarm. <laughs> it's like one of those things that once you got it down, you get it down. I've been, set, I've been playing with this in and out. And I think it's because I keep getting the buttons backward. Like, you know where the buttons are, then you turn it, and then, you know, and then like that, that type of such, that type of situation. But um, let's, let me see. Okay, to turn off, so let's go ahead and turn. You hold and press to turn off that light. And then, um, okay, so the down button, if we press and hold the down button, that's that'll go off so the, the clock is still on it's just not on the face and then now you can use it as a table lamp or um, go ahead and you know pick a solid color and just you know have your mood lighting or whatever or if you want it to roll through I'm about to push it again there no yeah I can get it to roll sometimes you have to you have to press it a couple times to get it to roll through I don't know Maybe that. We'll see. Like I said, you have to play with it. There it goes. Yeah, I get, I get, I'm impatient. I want it to start rolling, and you have to let it sit, <laughs> and it'll start rolling. So, if you're not impatient, it'll be, it'll, it'll be fine. So you can do that, and then to get that back on, I got to remember now. This one down. We got to pull and push down, and it comes back on, and it's still um, keeping time with my stove. So it kept, um, you know time appropriately just wasn't on the face um, up here so you can do that which is a neat little feature too and then to set the alarm I'm trying to think how we set the alarm okay to set the alarm you're going to press the up button 
which is the middle button. This is the only one I can remember by heart. <laughs> and I don't know if you see that little clock face come on. And now we're going to go to the set button and we're going to hold it. I'm trying to look at the um, screen here. We're going to hold it until, see the alarm? Okay, and now I can set it. So, let's see. Oh, no, I'm going the wrong way. What am I doing? What the heck am I doing? Why is it going down instead of up? <laughs> All right. Now we're at 12. No, I want to go up, so. Okay, so 11. Wait. All right, so now let's do the minutes. Hopefully I get this right and set. So I think I set the alarm. <laughs> like I told you, I've been having... <laughs> I've been having trouble with the alarm. I might have just reset my time, to be honest. And not the alarm. Hmm. We'll find out in a minute, won't we? Huh. Trying to see here. If I hold turn off the screen, will it come back on? Yeah, I think I reset my time and not the alarm. It takes me a few minutes. I try to set the alarm and play with it. But it says the alarm's on. Let's try it again. So if we hold the set and it's flashing, I should be able to. Do the minutes here. Alright. Okay, I think I got it now. All right, so I should hopefully go off. We'll find out as we're talking about it. <laughs> um, I guess I should turn this off so we can see what it's like when it comes on. So I set it for 11.10, so hopefully you'll see. And then when it does come on to turn off the alarm, you're going to push the um, that power button again. So you'll do that. It's a neat looking clock. I mean, aesthetically, it's pretty cool. It's pretty lightweight, but it's very, very stable. It's very modern looking, very clean, modern design. I like it. I like things with lights, so see, there it is. I see the light coming on. Oh, then it comes on full bright. And then you just push that button to turn it off and then if you want that lamp to go off you hold and push that and the power will go off I mean the, the light will go off so it's pretty um, I want to say pretty simple <laughs> once you figure out the alarm do a test alarm to make sure you're doing it right and normally it's because I've been testing it I'll, I don't want to wait that long to test it the problem was it's like last time it turned out the time changed to the time I was setting the alarm so <laughs> so put it out for a full minute and then wait just have patience and wait <laughs> But it works for me. That's loud enough. For some people, it might not. Like my husband, it might not be loud enough for him. A freight train couldn't wake that man up. He needs that. I don't know if everyone's seen that commercial, that meme, and where the alarm goes off and the bed literally lifts up in the air like a Murphy bed and flings them. That's what he needs. Otherwise, <laughs> this would make me jump up. I'm a light sleeper. It doesn't take much. I jump up and I'm up for. That's it. I'm up for for the day. So um, I like it. I love this part. I love the lighting. And it's LEDs. It doesn't get hot at all, which so make it perfect for like a kid's room. You know, they get scared, they want a light. You know what's that? They can easily just run and touch it and turn it on, turn it off. Or again, you can do that and change it and have the colors. Or go ahead and pick a, um, you know, a solid color if you just want it to sit on green or red or whatever. So it's fun. We'll go ahead and turn that off. So that's um, Kodak's. That's their wake up alarm clock. Um, it's, you know, it's fun. I like it. Thanks.